Hi guys, what's up? It's me Jasmine and welcome to my vlog. For today's video, we have a task to do and execute at least six, six stitches and I am here to have a tutorial for you. So here we go! First of all, there are six stitches. Those are back stitch, bullion stitch, cross stitch, herringbone stitch, chain stitch, and the last one is the lazy daisy chain stitch. Hi guys, for this video, we need a 1 fourth cloth, cross stitch cloth, embroidery thread, I use different colors so that it would be nice. A thimble, needle, my needle is sizes 1 to 10. It is a curable needle. A scissor. Pencil. And ruler. Doing a bullion stitch, bring the needle out through A again, then wrap the thread around the needle. The distance should be the same and observe the number of wraps to avoid spoiling the stitch. Then hold the wrap thread and pull the needle until the wraps lay on the fabric. By doing cross stitch, bring the needle out through A and take it diagonally across to B. Bring it again through C, which lies vertically below A. Now, put the needle in through D which lies vertically above B, you have made a single cross. By doing a herringbone stitch, bring the needle out through first stitch line at A. Now, take the needle through B which lies diagonally across A and the second line. Make sure the diagonal stitches are parallel to each other to bring out the best look. By doing a chain stitch, bring the needle through at the top of the trace line, hold the working thread down towards the left with the thumb. Insert the needle at the point where the thread has just come through and bring it up on the trace line about 1 16 of an inch 1.5 mm farther along. By doing a lazy daisy chain stitch, bring the thread out through A, put in the needle near A and bring it out 
through the point P, but don't pull the needle out completely. Now, loop the thread around the needle like we would in chain stitch. Pull out the needle out to tighten the loop, put in the needle just outside the chain, created that it will finish the lazy daisy stitch. Since I have decided to make a flower, I will proceed with making multiple lazy daisies around the marked stitch line. The complete, completed flower made of multiple lazy daisies. And that's all for this vlog. Thank you for watching guys.